Huh? There's some missing. We love steak, yeah. Uh -oh. Trouble Busters! Oh, how I envy you for being a butcher. My name is Melanie. My husband and I own a butchery. I'm throwing a tea party with my friends at my place. And this is Yulia. I honestly didn't want to invite her over. I can tell she's locked her target on one of my meats again. Hey, so this meat is a leftover after you sold everything else, right? No, it's not a leftover or anything like that. All right, I guess my family's going to enjoy steak tonight. No, 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 you can't take this meat, Yulia. Oh, so this must be the special meat that you won't let others try. Hey, can I have this meat? What? No way, not this one. Hey, Melanie, can you come over here? Okay, okay. I'm sure she won't notice if I only take two. Huh? There's some missing. Wait, don't tell me. Oh God, there's a couple beef that I was aging that's gone missing too. I know Yulia was the culprit for the missing beef. I told her not to take them. What am I going to do? But hold on. I told her not to take them, yet she made the choice of taking them still. Why do I have to be the one so concerned for her? This disaster can be a great chance. I'm not letting her get away with this. Trouble busters. I got some great steak for us tonight. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't had steak in a while. All right, let's eat before the food gets cold. Thanks for the food. Oof, this steak is delicious. I know, it's so good. It's not just good, it's great. I could eat this every day. We love steak, yeah? Uh -oh. Huh? What happened? My neighbor? Oh, your stupid wife, Melanie. Oh, fed us some rotten meat. Oh. What? Rotten meat? Oh, hey, Melanie. Why'd you feed us that meat? I knew you took my aged beef without asking. Huh? Did you just say she took it without asking? <laughs> That's not true. She gave me that meat. Oh. I never gave you that meat. As a matter of fact, I specifically told you not to take that meat. But I thought that was because... Oh. Uh, Yulia, you need to explain what's going on. <laughs> you, you told us that she gave it to you. Oh, oh I said, oh, I bought that meat at the market. Oh. That's not possible. Why? The market sells meat too. Oh. The meat you took is called aged beef. It's rare to see them around in markets since it takes time and effort to make one. Uh, Yulia, does that mean you... Ugh. Oh, I remember now. My friend gave it to me. Oh. That's also not possible. How can you say so? How would you know what my friend happened to be using the same meat and doing the same thing? Oh. Even if that was the case, your friend would never give it to you without trimming the meat. Trimming? Do you guys actually know what aged beef is? Does it mean it's rotten? Not exactly rotten. How is it not exactly rotten? We're getting sick from that meat. It's a process called dry aging. It's a type of process to cure the meat. Dry aging? That's right. It's a process to keep the meat at a low temperature in a dry environment. It cures the meat. Yep, that's what dry aging is. What do you think would be a very important step that Melanie and I take during this process? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh. To preserve the meat between 33.8 Fahrenheit to 37.4 Fahrenheit at a humidity of 75% to 85%. And most importantly, ensuring the curing room has the proper bacteria. Bacteria? B bacteria? Oh! When we start the process of dry aging, the moisture in the meat starts escaping towards its surface. Eventually, that moisture gets vaporized, causing the meat to become dried. During this process, the bacteria emits enzymes that break the protein, giving the meat a softer texture. In addition, this process increases the amino acid that gives the meat a stronger, concentrated umami flavor. A very nice, very tender texture with savory flavors beyond heaven. Oh, by the way, how was the aroma? It had a delicious aroma. I've never smelled anything like that. Urgh. 
Of course it did. One of the best things about dry-aged meat is that it gives that nice, irresistible aroma. But hey, uh, oh. Yes? So why is it that we're getting sick from such a nice meat? Again, that's because we never trimmed that meat. So what the heck is that trimming about? Well, to put it simply, trimming is important because it removes the part you're not supposed to eat. The part you're not supposed to eat? Yulia, please tell me that you did that trimming thing. Is that trimming thing really important? Yes, a dry-aged meat must always be trimmed. There is a lot of bacterial growth on the surface of the meat during the process of dry aging, and the surface can get molded, too. Why didn't you tell me about that earlier? I'm assuming you never trimmed the meat, uh, seeing how you guys look right now. Hey, Yulia! Yes? Don't tell us that you fed us the whole meat, including that part that was supposed to be trimmed. Oh, how would I have known? I wasn't told that I was supposed to do that. But this is serious. We're all getting sick. Oh. Even if you guys tried trimming the meat, you wouldn't have been able to do it properly. True that. Trimming needs to be done in a very precise way by an experienced butcher. So does that mean that this is as bad as eating a raw chicken? That is indeed correct. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Hey, Yulia! Um, yes? Not only did you steal meat from Melanie's place, but you fed us food that wasn't even properly processed! What in the world are you thinking? Oh, I, I can't hold it anymore. Should I even ask if they're okay? Nah. Yulia, don't tell me you've been stealing food from other people all this time. No, sir, this was my first time. First time? That makes it this time you stole food from Melanie's place? What? Uh, no, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't steal anything from anyone. Oh, oh. Is it weird for me to suggest that you go see a doctor? Oh, shut up. That's none of your business. Come to think of it, you must have purposefully made me take that meat. What? How can you say that? You were the one who glued yourself onto my curing chamber. Who wouldn't be so curious if you presented it like it was so special? Well, my other friends didn't seem so curious. Even if I were to admit that I took that meat without asking you, you knew that I wanted that meat because I was asking about it so much. That makes you guilty for not teaching me how to process that meat. What the? Why would I need to teach how to eat that meat to someone who might steal it from me? If you don't want to do that, you should have at least trimmed the meat to be considerate for someone who might take it without knowing how to eat it. Then how do we define considerate? Oh, I get it now, Melanie. You must have injected something poisonous into that meat knowing that I'd steal it from you. Something poisonous? Yes, I know what you did. This is a crime and I'm going to sue you. Yulia, don't you understand that she could sue you for this? Huh? Weren't you listening to what Melanie explained to us? All they were doing was curing beef for their own enjoyment. I'm saying that they're guilty of making such a dangerous food that poisoned us. But you're the one who brought the dangerous food without even knowing that there's a process to undo the harm. <gasps> not to mention I told you so many times not to take that meat. But it's your fault for not being thorough about it. You could have explained to me what exactly was or what needs to be done to that meat before enjoying it. But the fact that I told you not to take it makes it clear that you shouldn't have taken it. Oh, that's your problem, not mine. <sighs> We're getting sick because you neglected to explain anything to me. I'm gonna tell everyone in this neighborhood that I got sick from your butchery. Fair enough, and I'll tell everyone in this neighborhood that you are a thief who stole from me. What? Are you trying to start a war against me? Melanie, we've got your back. Huh? I'll tell everyone in my senior community. Aw, thank you. But, but why? This isn't right. Why would you get her back? She got us sick with that rotten meat. Why wouldn't we? <gasps> Melanie and Freddy are professional butchers. They were only using their knowledge and experience to make something that others can enjoy. There isn't a single wrong thing about that. But, but, she got us sick using that meat. This must be a felony and we should report her to the cops. We wouldn't have gotten sick if you never took that meat without her permission. I, I never stole that meat. I can't believe you're still trying to make excuses. Where's the proof? Huh? I'm asking, how are you going to prove that I stole that aged beef from you? Yulia, 
You're insane! No proof, huh? Cut it out, Yulia! We already ate the meat, and so it's gone now. So how are you going to prove that I stole anything? You said it's gone now, huh? <laughs> huh? It's still there, in your belly. What? Perhaps we can get you checked up at the hospital. They're going to find the same bacteria in your belly as the bacteria they would find on my cured beef. Now that would be the proof. Wait, really? She's right, and the bacteria they're gonna find will be the type of bacteria that typically can't cause infestation in other types of food. Oh no, is that true? Well then, let's go see a doctor now. Huh? Yes, we need to make sure this gets officially documented. Wait, hold on, um, ouch, ouch, oh, my stomach hurts again. I don't think I can go to the doctors right now. Then that only gives you another reason to see a doctor. Um, I'll be okay. What? I I just need to take some painkillers and get some sleep. I don't need to see a doctor. Just stop accusing me of stealing from Melanie. What the? Let me tell you that I never stole any cured meat from Melanie's place. I just ended up eating some rotten meat. This has nothing to do with Melanie's cured meat. I can't believe you're still saying that. Ugh, what a joke. Okay, I didn't want to do this, but you gave me no choice. Check this out. Is this the surveillance footage? That's correct. Since dry aging a meat is a delicate process, we keep a camera in the curing chamber. This way we can check out the meat from our smartphones anytime. Yep, a small increase in temperature or humidity could completely rot the meat. It is a really delicate process, and we keep this camera on 24-7 to make sure the process goes well. Oh, wow, so professional. Hey, watch this. That's when Yulia took the meat out of the chamber. So what? Huh? All I see is a pair of hands taking the meat out of the chamber. How would you even know that those are my hands? This doesn't prove anything. Nice try, <laughs> Melanie. Oh, my. What's the matter, David? Mom, Dad, check this out. What's this? This part right here. The nails. Take a look at the nails. Oh. I remember seeing those nails. Oh, me too. <laughs> Do you understand now? Yulia, let me see your nails. Huh? Your nails right now. I know you got them done recently. What? Uh, why do you want to see my nails? Are you accusing me? If there's nothing to hide from us, you must show us your nails. Um, well... Oh, is there a reason why you're so hesitant to show us your nails? Of course not. I have nothing to hide from you. Well, then show us your nails right now. No, I'm not going to show you my nails. Huh? There it is. <gasps> Yulia, we knew you were the culprit. Hold on. This is a misunderstanding. Just calm down. We're not accepting any excuses from you. Let me just explain. There's nothing for you to explain to us. <gasps> You crossed the line. You stole food that doesn't belong to you. Which proves... That you committed a crime. Now go ahead and apologize to Melanie and Freddy. Heck no. Huh? Why would I need to apologize for taking that rotten meat? I'm sure you were planning on tossing it anyway. What makes me so guilty of taking something that would have been tossed out? In fact, you should thank me for doing you a favor to take out that trash off your premises. Did you just call it trash? Yep, trash meat. It obviously wasn't trash. It was valuable meat that was going under a delicate process of aging. Well, the meat was bad, which makes it trash. There isn't any law that prohibits me from taking trash from the trash bin, right? Listen, that meat wasn't trash. Well, it looked like trash to me, so I'm not guilty of anything. In fact, I ended up getting sick from eating meat that you guys were planning on tossing out. You should thank me for what I've done. You're not making any sense. We never said we were going to toss them. I've already explained to you that we were curing the meat, and it's not like we were neglecting it. It's the same thing. You were letting that meat rot. It's not the same thing. Rotting is caused by harmful bacteria, while curing is caused by beneficial bacteria. Oh, stop with that nonsense. Look, I got sick because of the meat that you guys made. I am the victim here. I have been physically and emotionally harmed by the fact that you fed me bad meat. Again, you took it without asking and you ate it without knowledge. Don't blame this on me. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you at this point. 
This was supposed to be a wonderful day that ends with a gorgeous slice of steak and you ruined it. You're going to pay for this. Hey, you? Everything happened because you were making rotten meat. You better pay me suffrage. What? You're also going to pay for the medical expenses for each and every one of my family members. And how does this even make sense? Yulia! What? Do you have anything to say to me? You're going to be the one who's paying for all that. Huh? You're no longer a household wife. Starting tomorrow, you're going to find a job and pay for everything you just said. Wh what? A full-time job. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? Um, Henry, who are you calling? They're on their way. All right. Um, who's on their way? The police and the ambulance. What? Wait, but why? For obvious reasons. <laughs> <gasps> A court decided not to sentence Yulia to imprisonment only because this was her first misdemeanor. However, she was still sentenced to pay the penalties, and this incident goes on her criminal record. Rumors spread among our friends in our neighborhood, no one talks to her anymore, and everyone hates her. As for Freddie and I, the rumor helped everyone recognize the fact that we sell high-quality, dry-aged meat. Our business has skyrocketed, and we're getting a long line of customers asking to buy our cured meat. Trouble Busters!